Major U.S. stock indexes ended sharply lower on Friday as investors worried about the possibility of more rate hikes and the spread of the Israel-Hamas war. The Dow dropped nearly nine-tenths of a percent, the S&P 500 tumbled almost 1.3 percent, and the Nasdaq plunged more than 1.5 percent. All 11 of the S&P 500's sectors fell in broad-based selling. I still think that there's a lot of things impacting the market. Marianne Bartels is chief investment strategist at Sanctuary Wealth. We're in earnings season now. Um, that's impacting the market. There's concerns about what's happening over in the Middle East. The real big concern, and I think what's really the bond market, I mean, the equity market has been sensitive to is the bond market because we've seen 10-year Treasury yields rising. And so there's a number of factors that are driving the market through this whole week, and I expect can continue to actually impact the market through the rest of the month. The benchmark 10-year Treasury yield pulled back a bit a day after crossing 5 percent for the first time since July 2007. The upward move coming after Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell on Thursday said the economy's strength and tight labor markets could require tougher borrowing conditions to control inflation. In earnings news, shares of Regions Financial stumbled more than 12 percent to their lowest level since March of 2020. The bank expects fourth quarter net interest income to decline about 5 percent compared with the preceding three months as banks pay more to retain deposits. The KBW Regional Banking Index closed down 3.5 percent. Shares of credit card company American Express fell nearly 5.5 percent, even though its third quarter profit beat expectations. And shares of Solar Edge slumped more than 27 percent after it warned of significantly lower revenue in the fourth quarter.